Oh, uh, this is Val Gravini in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? Hey, Velder, this is Don Logan. Uh, I'm with uh, FedEx Freight out of Topeka, Kansas. I'm here in Raleigh, North Carolina this week to celebrate National Truck Driver Appreciation Week. I know. I never knew there was such a thing, Don. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I want to let my audience know today is considered a good trucker day. So, hey, Absolutely. Get your arms ready. Tell me about being a, this, this whole persona of what you're talking about. Tell me about it. Well, this week is just to, to celebrate what, what, you know, we're celebrating truckers nationally to, to uh, you know, give everybody a pat on the back for delivering our goods and, you know, putting this food on the table, clothes on our back, you know, everything moves by truck at, at one point. And uh, we're, we're just looking to thank all those drivers and, and make uh, recognition of them, make America aware of how important they are. According to my statistics, they said that there are 3.4 million truck drivers in the United States. That's absolutely correct. And, and even in, uh, you know, in the state of Texas, one out of every 16 people in the state of Texas work for the trucking industry in some form or fashion. So, you know, it's, it's not just about the drivers, it's about everybody that's involved in trucking. And it's a, it's a very large industry and, and there's a lot of people that take part in it. I, I, I'd love to, for us to give this appreciation, but I want to ask you one thing. What do you think our, our economy would be like without truckers? Uh, we, frankly, we wouldn't have one. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we obviously we, we rely on trains and, and planes and, and, you know, ships to deliver our goods. Uh, you know, they're all very essential. But, you know, uh, I believe in Texas, it's like 82 percent of some communities rely exclusively on trucks to, to get their goods. So, you know, it, uh, it, it would never get to where it's going if it wasn't for the trucks. Is this a profession that uh, is striving to become uh, safer? Because, you know, we hear the bad part about it, you know, uh, the insurance guy coming on TV, if you've been hit by a trucker, call me. Right. So, you know, it kind of creates its own uh, um, a feel for us. Well, absolutely, and you know, it's the it's the negative things that, that make the news. It's uh, it's never the positive things. But we are striving as an industry. You know, we are uh, we are continually in in training. Uh, you, you know, a truck driver's training never stops really to become safer. Um, the the equipment as well has has gotten a lot safer over the years. There's a lot of technology on these uh, these new trucks. You know, as some is called adaptive cruise control. Uh, which it will sense of coming up on a vehicle, lane departure warning system where an alarm will go off in the cab if the, if the truck is changing lanes without a turn signal, uh, anti-rollover uh, devices that uh, will apply the brakes and, and automatically cut down the throttle if a truck is going into a curve too fast. So, you know, we're making great strides in, into improving that. And, uh, you know, there, uh, let me tell you, there's a lot of great drivers around the country and and if people only knew the whole story you know it's a lot more positive than negative well and that's what i was going to ask you know um my next question was what can we do to be safer us as the driver because we are intimidated by the big truck well what can Go ahead. Absolutely, and we and we don't want you to be intimidated. You know, we, we want you to be comfortable around that truck, but we also, you know, we we have a lot of programs with American Trucking Associations where where we get out and you know we'll go to schools and businesses and stuff and, and teach people how to operate around a truck and where where that truck cannot see you, you know, keep you out of that truck's blind spots and and let you know you know how far how close you can follow that truck or how far you need to be in front of that truck. You know, there's a lot of programs like that uh, that are out there, and the more exposure, especially in the youth today, if we can get in front of that youth and show them how to operate around a truck, you know, that's well to our advantage and, and make everybody comfortable, and, and then we can all get out there and, you know, share the road and, and uh, you know, also teach these young drivers about distracted driving. You know, we, that, that is becoming a huge problem uh, with all drivers, and, and the more we can get out there and, and talk to people, you know, the better off we're going to be. Okay, and I'll, I'll wrap up with this. The American Trucking Association, you guys have two tractor trailers that's going to travel the country educating us? Yeah, and, and have been doing it for a long time. Um, you know, we've, we've American Trucking Associations, they, they have two great programs uh, that operate independently, but they go around the country talking about safety, and, and we try to get in front of as many, you know, people and especially young drivers as we can to promote safety. All right.
right, then. And what can I do personally and my audience personally to honor a truck driver? What can we do? Well, I'm sure that everyone in your audience knows a truck driver. Just giving them a, you know, a handshake and a pat on the back is what they need today. That's right. We need to be more friendly in America because we're known for being a friendly <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let me ask you, is there a place online that people can go and find more information? Maybe they want to be a truck driver. Yeah, truckline.org is a place to go, or you can, uh, many places have their own local schools, and you can, you can Google your local truck driving school. Thank you, Mr. Long. Thanks for coming on the Bowder BB Show and telling us how to stay safe. All right. Thank Th thanks for having me.